Hi, I'm Royce from the account management team at Bridge Coffee Roasters. When buying a coffee machine for a business, there's a few different contract types that you can consider. Today, we're gonna to be talking about free on loan contracts and why you may or may not want to consider them for when you're looking at purchasing your next bit of equipment. A free on loan contract is exactly what it sounds like. You, as the owner of a business, are loaned a coffee machine free of charge by a supplier like ourselves. How we make a profit is by charging you higher prices for your consumables. Think coffee beans, takeaway cups, sugars, syrups, etc. So in effect, you would still be paying for the right to use your coffee machine. You are just paying for it indirectly through more expensive coffee beans rather than paying directly for the machine itself. So the big upside of free on loan is that you can avoid the large upfront costs of equipment. You won't have to pay for the full price of the machine. Instead, you'll be paying for it over the length of the contract. And this can be particularly helpful if you are running on a tight budget or on a low cash flow, that kind of scenario. The other perceived positive is that if your sales drop, you're not stuck with a regular payment because you're just paying for the consumables. At least this is how it appears on the surface. So what are the downsides? Many suppliers have stopped offering free online contracts after noticing a number of downsides for their customers. The number one reason is that your consumables are so highly inflated. That's not a greedy choice on part of the supplier. They still have to cover the cost of the machine, its service, its maintenance, etc. How else can they cover those costs if the only thing you are paying for is your consumables? To make this work, you'll need to be buying everything from the supplier, and this will be very clearly stated in your contract. So, okay, if I'm getting a free coffee machine, why is that such a big deal just to be paying a little bit extra for my coffee? Well, this can have a knock-on effect as no matter how much you're buying, it will always be charged at the inflated rate. Let's just imagine that you're paying 16 pounds a kilo for your coffee in a free on loan contract. The reality might be that the actual price of the coffee is six pounds a kilo, and the other 10 pounds is going towards the coffee machine. At 10 kilos a week, that's 60 pounds on coffee and 100 pounds on the machine. Now imagine, that down the line, you have had a very busy few months, your coffee sales have doubled, all of a sudden, you're now effectively paying 120 pounds on coffee, but 200 pounds is going towards your machine. Simply because your sales have gone up, the machine is now costing you proportionally more money. The more coffee you serve, the more the machine will cost you in real terms. On the flip side to all of that, if sales are down, and you're not buying as much coffee, you might be assuming that you'll be paying less for your machine. The supplier will always want to protect themselves from this. A common way of doing this is by including minimum thresholds in the contract. This can look like shortfall charges, where you'll be covering the cost of the machine during the period of the contract and paying the difference, or it can look like a contract extension, meaning you'll spend more time, potentially, under contract until you've paid the cost of the machine. Either way, the net result is that you will eventually pay the required amount for the machine. Another common method for a supplier to protect themselves from the risk is to minimize the initial investment or outlay on the equipment. That's why free on loan commonly involves already used or potentially even under spec machines. You risk getting a machine that's perhaps not suitable for your needs, but it also increases the chance of you encountering more frequent breakdowns, higher volume of faults and cool outs, something you don't really want to be experiencing. Something else you might run into are hidden costs. Coming back to the same cause, seeing as you're not paying directly for the machine and you're only paying for your consumables, when you run into issues with your machine and parts, etc., these are areas where a supplier might very well be expected to regain some of its costs. There may also be additional costs outside of your contract, for example, water filters or boiler inspections, all of which are very 
essential to the running of your machine, but can be very costly and again, are another means by which your supplier can squeeze a little bit more profit out of that contract. Worst of all, it may be that you're offered a free online contract where none of these apply. The real danger of this is that these contracts can become unprofitable very quickly if the spend is not what the supplier anticipated. Something has to give. And the first thing typically is the service of your machines. If you're no longer covering the costs through your consumables, it becomes unviable for the supplier to continue servicing your machines and training your staff. At the end of the day, everything has a cost. So having been sold a promise of a free coffee machine, if you start buying either too little coffee or more than anticipated, you'll quickly start to realize where the costs are being covered. A great analogy for the downsides of a free on loan is if you were going to buy a car, would you do it in the same way? So rather than paying for it up front, you'll pay for it through your petrol, going to Tesco's or BP and paying a thousand times more than you already do. The more you drive the car, the more inconvenient and unaffordable this becomes, but you'll also be charged if you don't drive it enough. Suddenly the idea of a free car vanishes. So there are a number of alternatives to free on loan, especially if the main selling point for you was that you avoid the initial upfront cost. You can also achieve this through lease purchase, lease rental, direct rental contracts. The common denominator is that the cost of the machine is set in stone. And with these contracts, many of them avoid the downsides that we've already discussed. If you decide that the free online is best for you, here are a few things that you just want to make sure of. Firstly, that there's a minimum service agreement and that you have absolute clarity on any hidden costs in that contract. Secondly, that you're aware of any shortfalls or minimum thresholds that are built into the contract and that they're realistic for you and your usage. Third, the coffee machine itself is of high quality and can support you over the next five years. And probably most importantly, make sure you're happy with the coffee and that there is a guarantee in place that the quality that you receive isn't affected by the contract. So hopefully you've learned something about free on loan today. There is also a link in the description of this video that will take you through a deep dive article on our blog around the other financing options. If you do want to have a chat about a new coffee machine or these financial options, feel free to reach out and speak to us at Bridge.